عبد الرحمن ابن يوسف السلام عليكم مفتي سام جزاك الله خير الحمد لله dreams is a fascinating subject it's something of course that affects I told you it's about what you eat at night it's well that's what he thinks but we'll come we'll come on to that it's a part of it it affects absolutely everybody you're doing a course teaching people is it about understanding dreams is it about dream interpretation tell us a bit more I think the, the main impetus behind the course is really to give, uh, uh, give an understanding of what um, the basic uh, types of dreams are. Because what we've got is we've got people who are absolutely obsessed by their dreams and they want to read into every single people dream. People have a we fascination. Get, absolutely. But they, you know, you get these questions and generally it could just be about something you've been thinking about. So some people, they totally disregard them. Some people, they become obsessed by them. And I think the truth is somewhere in the middle because there's three types of dreams. As mentioned in the Quran itself, mm, so mm. you've got adghath uh, ahlam. Uh, that's uh, that is just your thoughts of the day, any concerns you have, anxieties you have. So you'll you'll actually see them at night. I dream yeah. about him all night. <laughs> <laughs> about the back of my head because you're yeah. staring at it all the time. <laughs> what is that? I'm trying to touch it. Right. <laughs> right. Then you've got a ru'ya. Uh, in Arabic, it's called ar-ru'ya, ru'ya min ar-Rahman. So ru'ya are the truthful dreams that come from the merciful one, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Are these the good ones now? Those are the good ones. Those oh are the good ones. They won't these, terrify you. And these dreams yeah. are truthful? They, they are the ones that have the possibility of being Some truth. Some meaning behind them. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, and then you've got al-hulumu min ash-shaytan. So those are the frightening ones. Mm. They're generally from the shaytan. And what we've That's been told... That's also dreaming about him as well. <laughs> so, these, so those are the three <laughs> compartments. I mean, look. Right. Ibn Sareen, alhamdulillah, wrote yeah. a phenomenal book. Mm -hmm. um, what was his qualification? I mean, he seemed to be able to hit the yeah. nail on the head. Yeah, he, he was quite amazing. I think there's, there's two levels of this. One is you can, um, uh, you can get to a certain level of dream interpretation. But then, just like in everything else, there's another level that is God-given. What we call, it's, it's from Allah. And Ibn Sireen definitely had that. Yusuf alayhi salam had that. Mm. So some people would get it. The more taqwa you have and the more knowledge you have, you, you would obviously go further. Right. So, so on your course, are you, yeah. as, as I said, are you teaching people to interpret their dreams, to understand? Mm, not entirely, no. That, I, I don't want that to be a misconception because yeah. uh, really what it is is to understand the reality of where dreams come from, what are they, so you can be better equipped to understand whether you need to give any significance to your dream and maybe help your family members. For example, I mean, many people may not know this, but it mentions in a hadith that Rasulullah said that dreams are left suspended until you interpret them. Mm. Right now, that's a very kind of complicated statement. Interesting. Uh, in fact, in another one, it says that the dreams are um, suspended on the the f uh, on the foot of a bird, and if you interpret it, it will drop. So be careful of the way you interpret it. Mm. Right. Mm. So based on that, now, when you see a frightening dream, it says that uh, you should just say "A'udhu billahi min shaitanir rajim." I seek refuge in Allah from. Uh, from the shaitan, turn around, spit on the side just lightly, just mm. to show kind of disregard for the shaitan because it's generally shaitan trying to scare you, and turn around and go to sleep. Every time you tell somebody your dream, you're just solidifying it. Because at the end of the day, a dream is just an imagination. <laughs>